Hey there, I'm Mark from System3 Off-Road. This video is part of our Tech Talk series. Our goal is to help you, the customer, how to better understand our products. Whether it's tires or wheels, we want to help educate you on everything System3. A couple notable points before we get started. System3 does not recommend the use of impact wrenches during any point of the installation of the beadlock ring due to the possibility of over or under tightening the bolts. Also, the System 3 beadlock wheels include four starter bolts that are silver, which need to be replaced once the standard bolts that are either gold or black are attached. These bolts are critical to help you start the tightening process of securing the beadlock ring to the tire. Today I'm going to go over our suggested process on how to install our beadlock wheels with our System 3 tires. Step 1. Remove beadlock ring from the wheel along with starter bolts. Step 2. Mount tire from the beadlock side only. Mount inner bead over the wheel like normal. Seat the outer tire bead in the shoulder of the beadlock ring on the wheel in the center of the tire. Step 3. Place ring onto the tire and align the bolt holes with the inner beadlock ring. Step 4. The four longer starter bolts may be necessary to use if your tire has an extra thick bead. Use the longer bolts to initially draw the ring down before installing the standard 16 beadlock bolts, replacing the four starter bolts when you're done. Step five. This is often an overlooked step, but highly recommended. Apply a drop of oil or other lubricant to the threads of each bolt before installing. Step six. Due to the very tire widths, you may need to push the outer tire towards the wheel in order to start threading the bolts. Start bolts by hand to avoid cross-threading. Step seven, tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern a few turns at a time to ensure even pressure on the beadlock ring. Step eight, tighten the bolts to the following torque specs using a crisscross pattern. Using a half inch socket, torque all bolts to 15 foot pounds. Step nine, mount tires according to proper tire mounting practices using acceptable ATV or UTV tire mounting equipment. Use tire mounting lube only on the tire opposite the beadlock ring to ensure a proper seat for the tire. Step 10. Inflate the tire to seat the inner bead onto the wheel. Do not exceed the manufacturer's recommended maximum pressure for seating the beads. Step 11. Retorque the ring bolts after the first 50 miles and after each subsequent 200 miles. We hope this instructional video helped you. I look forward to seeing you out on the trails and remember, when looking for tires and wheels for your UTV needs, look to System 3 for that traction strength and style.